Hello everybody, and this video is a bit weird. We have here Windows Vista. It's not in all its nice vistiness. Yeah, in all its nice vistiness. Um, just kidding. This is actually Windows 10 with a few little um, plugins that their job is to make your computer look like this stuff. So if I can actually find again, if I can go to system, it will load. And yes, it is legitimately Windows 10. Now we are using Windows 10 for this. Um, so, but this isn't really Windows 10 like. So if you wait right here, I'll change it back to Windows 10 log. Back in a minute. And as you can see, I'm back in Windows 10 with no styling and something just fell so we can all that um I'm, oh, I'm back um there's no styles now the program's been uninstalled and everything is back to normal so next job we are now going to start doing a few things to set things up now first of all you can use this one this is one I like, um, it's nice green, um, I'll just open with that, but this is the animation that the program will use for it. Now I like a nice green, you don't have to have green, in fact I'll, I'll bundle the green, in fact I'll bundle a load of them, I'll bundle tons of different ones, so you can have a nice selection to choose from. But I'll open Chrome and show that there are a few different ones, I might even pick a different one for this video um, so yeah I'll do that um, so you can kind of get a nice C uh, there are other things you don't just have to have that you can have if I can find chrome where's chrome where is chrome um, but um you don't just have to have these ones, in fact I'll show you now that there are a few different ones that you can use, because um, you don't just have to use search things, you can use other ones, um, but there's a load of different ones, so if I can just find them, and this will actually come on to how, we can, how I can do different ones because um, I'm going to do other transformation videos so you can transform them um, but you can have Windows 7, you can have Windows 7 as well you can have Black Orb, there's a few custom ones which I quite like the look of um, Vista 1, Vista 2, I, I like this one this is not This is a good Vista 1, I think we'll, we'll use that one today save image as and just download it um, to desktop again there's Nice, Vista 2. You can also add these, you can have this giant one if you really want to. It's like blue glow. Okay, so there's a few. Kind of in fact, you could even make your own. You just need one on the screen. Um, but yeah, there's loads of different ones here. Um, you can even make custom ones, as I said. Um, yeah, so you have this, you can have Star Orb, you can have Star Orb again, Star Orb, Star Orb, Windows logo. Um, and it's really quite easily actually easy I've made my own one myself um, it wasn't very good but we'll be using today this one this Vista 2 because I prefer this one so we've got Vista 2 now and we've got this now what next thing we need to do is we're gonna hop over to the forum and we are going to grab some start menu skins and we want a nice start menu skin and I'm gonna go for hmm, I'm gonna go for if I can find it. Uh, we'll just say this stuff down here. This stuff come in here. Windows 10 style. That's not helpful. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Trying to find it now. I can't find it. There you go. Windows Vista start menu skin. Now. What you want is this down here. This is not helpful. 
you need to find start muting. Um, I think this is a different one to what I grabbed. Oh. This is a different one to the one I grabbed earlier. I know, I'm being really serious with this. Where is it? Where is it? It's gone. Well, that's why, because I'm looking at start menu skin. Um, I messed up. My taskbar skin. Where is it? Right. Let's go. <laughs> but yeah, if I go to forum, um, I can go to taskbar skins, not start menu skins. You clever here. Um, and just type in Vista. And we can go original Windows Vista taskbar. Here's one I grab. So we have Windows Vista Arrow, Windows Vista Arrow, we have horizontal and vertical. We have Windows Vista Basic Vertical, Windows Vista Basic Horizontal. Now I'm going to take this. So this is what I have. Um, but I'll leave a link to download of this as well. As well as the vertical one, because that would be nice. Um, so I close that now. In fact, we're not going to close it just yet. We need to go to home, and on the home page we have a download now. So if you go here, download, it will download this. I've already got it, so I'm going to close that off now. And we're going to install the um, thing of a box. I can find it. I can find it. File Explorer. Um, but I have it already in my downloads folder. Should be here. That's not it. I think. I think that is it. There we go. Classic shell setup. Hit run. And close this. And it'll say preparing to install. You say next. I agree. Next. Next. Install. And just wait for the installation process. Say yes. Um, it's going to create a little cut. So it's going to do a load of things. It doesn't matter what. It does. Uh, it's going to do a load of things, and we hit finish. It's going to pop up with a done readme file that you can just dismiss. And now we have it installed on our computer. Now, haven't done anything yet. That's because we need to tell it to do something. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Shell Start Menu Settings, and here we can customize all of our settings that we want to customize. So it hasn't done anything yet, but I'm going to show you how we can make it to do stuff. So. What the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to hit restart all settings because it's using settings from my last use. It's already started doing stuff here, that's because that's what it's programmed to do. So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to select, we're going to make sure it's Windows, it's in style, and we're going to replace the start button and we're going to hit custom. We're going to pick the image for what we're going to use and we're going to select Vista 2. Already looking nice. Now, over here, we want to make sure this is all set to classic menu like this right click opens windows x menu yes it does main menu now we need to do a few more things in here i think nope that's fine we just want to hit don't show um and do not do that and don't do that and keep that how it is and all that is all good general behavior we want to we don't want to change anything in here that's all fine how it is search box you can change everything in here if you want to i don't want to so that's that in the menu look we don't change anything in here i think no we don't in the skin we set this to windows error so it looks like this now now in language we ignore sounds we ignore context menu we ignore customize start menu we can change this if you want to i'm not going to that's fine taskbar customize taskbar this is where we customize the taskbar I'm just going to go taskbar texture, open that up, and navigate to our taskbar texture, and hit OK. And then we've got a nice little taskbar texture. I'm going to open that back up. And in there's one more thing we want to do in taskbar here. Um, I can't find it. Can't find it. Where's it gone? I'm trying to find the setting. There you go. Um, we've also got a few things here we can do. 
So he needs a custom button, as you just said. I'm going to set to 50. 50, set it to a nice little slick here. So it's all looking nice and good. Now, one more thing, a few more things we need to do. So we need to look for the reload. We need to go to. Can't find it now. What have I done? Do this all the time. If we go to documents and then navigate to downloads. Um, if I set this to wallpaper, set as desktop background, small like this stuff. And now we need to open up settings first of all. And we just pause this recording here. Okay, false alarm. Now we need to go to personalization, lock screen, and we need to change this to picture. So we get our nice custom picture. Of course, we hit browse. And we can change a few things, I think. No, we can't, not really. Um, yeah, so that's set that. Now, one more thing we need to do for the, like, because you know how Vista has this little quick access thing here? We need to change that. There's also one more thing here we can do. It's a pain to do, though. Um, but if I go to settings again, if I go to... I can find it. Oh my god. Oh, there's so many options on Windows Turner. I lose track of them all the time. Down here, down to taskbar. We turn system icons on or off. Make sure that's all how you want it to be. Then I go back. And we want to change one more thing. Select which icons. Now we should. There's a lot of different icons on here. We can say yes or no to one of these. Um, I'm going to say no to that one. So that ain't, that's not going to appear. Of course, that just puts it up there. So there's no point in that, really. Um, we can always say show all icons, and then they'll always be down here. That's how I look at it. Um, so there's not much else you can do in here. But that just takes you to a web page. Um, so we're done in there. Now, in our computer folder, go to this, this PC, in internal storage, we're going to make a folder, we're going to delete this folder called TB at the moment, delete this, I'm going to just say new folder, I might just, I'm gonna sh you can call it anything, just I'm, I'm going to put mine as down the staff bar, not let's spell it right, shall we, task bar, and, and here we can, I'm just going to put like one or two things in here, um, in here, I'm gonna say I want to put I want to put the classic shell settings thing where you can change the settings. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, I'm gonna create a shortcut of that, and I'm gonna grab Factorio maybe if I can find the actual game which is missing. Uh, well, uh, maybe FileZilla FTP client. We can send that to desktop again. And one more thing, I'm gonna chuck I'm gonna grab Chrome. And we well you can make a nice little um a nice little quick access thing. So if I do desktop there. Now I come over here, we've got all these different shortcuts. You wanna rename them, you wanna get rid of the shortcut and change it out to you. I'm gonna say um this one will be called start slash task start oh s-t-a-a-r-t and task I'm going to call it start task um, settings name this to file Zilla and Google. So we've got all our shortcuts here, and we're just gonna we're gonna hit cut cut on them, and we're gonna go to back to internal storage, hit taskbar, and we're gonna paste these in. 
He's now in here. I'm just going to leave him there now. So we can close that. Now we're going to do a few more things. We're going to go to toolbars. We're going to make a new toolbar. And we're going to go back to internal storage and select taskbar. I'm going to select that folder for it to be our toolbar. And as you can see, it's added this thing here, um, which you can change a bit. We're going to say show text, no. Show title, no. Now next thing we're going to do is going to pull that over there to as far as you can go. So I can go as far as there. And we pull this over here. And that's now like that. And we can just about fit all the room we need in. And if we hit lock the taskbar, they're all nicely happily sitting here. And as I can set, I can just open PC settings and it's fine. All of them open correctly. Now we've got one more thing we need to do. Yeah, and we're going to change. We, I'm going to show you guys how you can change some things here. So I'm going to undo that. Um, and now the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to open up Chrome. Well, I don't actually need to open up Chrome. So um, let's go to this PC, and we can go to um, I can't remember myself now. Um, taskbar. We just take all of these and we'll right click on them. There should be an option normally, or normally be an option, and of course this time we're not, there's not. And also, we've also got all programs here, which is nice, um, so you can find it. Let's just say Google Chrome, um, when, instead of hitting unpin or pin to start, you want to hit pin to start menu, classic shell, make sure that's, a, that's there, otherwise it's not going to be, and you're going to be wondering where the world has gone. So go back. We have Google Chroma, we've also got our start menu settings, and now we, everything looks like Windows Vista. So, and even, you've even got this little thing here. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's, it's been a semi quick one. Um, that, this little thing here is also broken. I wouldn't try it, um, but that has actually broken that, but we, we don't need that half time on. We don't have that on the set. So if you enjoyed this video, it's be it looks quite cool on, once you're done. And I'm also going to show how to make it look like Windows 7, as well as maybe I'll do XP. I'll do a load of different OSs so you guys can 